A procedure is the how-to document. It takes the guidelines and says, you have standards and you have guidelines on how to fulfill the standards, and here's exactly how you do it. They contain very detailed step-by-step instructions, and they're typically specific to very well-defined areas. For example, I know that my password is going to expire every 30 days based on our password standards. I know that I need to choose a new password that's going to be between 5 and 8 characters. I know it needs to contain a combination of upper and lowercase characters, some that are digits, and it should not be a dictionary word. Those probably are going to be contained in my guideline. But how do I do it? Well, the procedure would have step-by-step examples or step-by-step instructions on how to change your password in Unix systems. Now, there would likely be another procedure on how to change your password on non-Unix machines, too. Assuming that we have very specific procedures for one operating system, but our organization hosts or supports multiple operating systems, we should have another set of procedures. It's very common to have multiple sets of procedures to implement one guideline. Likewise, if we have different application programs and there's passwords within the actual application, we would expect to find a procedure on changing our password within that application also.